I wanted to show you a problem that iTunes has with interpreting some CDDB metadata, how to work around it, and how the lamented cover flow made it easier to deal with. You'll notice that the CDDB artist data takes the new album called Night, a nice album by the way, and puts in four different artists depending on who wrote or arranged the song. The main artist is called Simone Dinnerstein and Tift Merritt. If you go to the albums, you'll see a bunch of songs, so you may not notice that a few songs are missing, along with the artwork. If you hit play, you won't get the whole album. Another artist listed is Simone Dinnerstein by herself. Checking the album's view, there are only two songs there, but the album artwork is correct. Weird. Likewise, the songs with Tiff Merritt alone is the artist. Then we have Tiff Merritt, semicolon, Simone Dinnerstein. Whoever uploaded the metadata to CDDB really made some odd choices here. But having ripped thousands of CDs in my time, I found this to be very common. Here's a nearby album with multiple artists, but iTunes got the grouping and artwork correct on this. Why? The album artist was listed as various artists. So iTunes put all the songs together in one album. So let's select all the songs and put in the correct album artist. Now iTunes will put all the songs together into one album. But, oops, it gets the artwork completely wrong. Why is that? Because the iTunes store has the album artist named incorrectly. Only Simone Dinnerstein is the artist. So, perhaps, if we were to delete Tiff Merritt as an artist on this album, the artwork might come up correctly. But I wouldn't want to do that, would I? A better solution is a plugin called Album Artwork Assistant. It's a script that can be invoked with a keyboard shortcut, Shift Command F. It automatically fills in the name of the album. But in this case, I need to add another keyword to help it find the artwork. I type in Dinnerstein, hit return, and bingo. There's the artwork. I click the Add Immediately button, and the script does the rest, adding the correct artwork to all the songs. Nice. Through the magic of editing, I've now switched over to my Mac Mini, which functions as my house music server and has not been updated to iTunes 11, mainly for the reason that Apple dropped CoverFlow from the new iTunes release. I've ripped the same album, and as you can see, CoverFlow reveals immediately that the album has been chopped up into many pieces, some with no artwork, some with the wrong artwork. Without CoverFlow, I could rip dozens of CDs without realizing that a mess has been made. CoverFlow, however, tips me off immediately and kind of forces me to deal with these album art and CDDB metadata problems right after ripping. I can quickly go through the process of correcting the artist metadata and putting in the correct artwork. But if I try to do it by getting the album artwork with iTunes, it will, in this case, load the wrong artwork. Happily, it only takes a few seconds to get the right artwork with Album Artwork Assistant. Another way to do the ripping is with XLD. XLD actually got the album artist and artwork correct in the first place. I've decided that, for many reasons, XLD is a better way to rip. More to follow.